Out of the 89 characters in Smash, a lot of them have swords. Today, we're gonna rank them all in this tier list here with the S standing for sword. And then we got these other tiers here. They don't stand for anything. These are where the swords will go. And that's a bit of a twist. I'll let my editor Tam chime in for anything he feels particularly opposed to. Frankly, that doesn't matter as much. But hey, if you happen to disagree with me, maybe he'll come in clutch and represent you. The criteria. Okay, so a sword in Smash is a lot of things. Technically, you know, Olimar's Pikmin. Those are f***ing swords. Look at that. That's crazy. But no, I'm talking about like just like a typical sword. That means like no sword-esque things like hammers or... Kazooie. And see, the thing is, a lot of these swords have rich history with them. Lore that could, you know, take up probably like 10 pages, are owned by gods. I don't care. I don't care at all. What matters is if I will look cool holding this sword, will I get bitches, or will I look stupid? That's what matters, and that's what we're going off today entirely. Alrighty, so let's get it started. Here we got Roy's sword, the Binding Bleed. Okay, we're starting with a decent sword. This one is like one that I could imagine like King Arthur's friend to use, you know? It's like a good, majestic sword. Has like the little ruby thing in the middle, has like the wings spreading out. It looks like a Legend of Zelda sword almost. It's pretty cool. I don't think it has the pizzazz or the swag needed to be an S tier. So we're gonna put an A tier, the Binding Blade. It's a good sword, very good sword. Next, we got the Bronze Sword held by Robin. This is uh, very embarrassing to be called a sword. It looks more like a dildo. I feel like no threat holding this. I cannot put it anywhere besides the D tier. Oh, baby. Okay, now we're dealing with the sword, baby. The Buster Sword. Come on. Let's be f***ing real. Okay, again, we're we're not including lore in here. I know this is one of the most iconic swords, like, in gaming, but it's, like, for a f***ing reason. This is a nice-ass sword. Like, it's just this little tiny handle with a big f***ing blade. Like, that difference it has, oh, it just makes it stand out that much more. Baller Sword. I, I, I can't really say anything about it that hasn't been said. It's just like so well designed. The basic idea is the bigger the sword, the cooler you are. And so because this is a very big sword, it is very cool. Definitely S tier. Okay, next we got the Kirby sword with his up B. Very dumb, not even good enough to have its own image. It just comes like this. See, the thing about this sword, it has that little curve in the middle. I know that might be quirky and unique, but at the same time, it just reminds me of like those incompetent pirates you would see in like cartoons. And I just associate it with like mediocrity and non-threatening whatsoever. This is honestly C tier for me. Honestly, I, I, would, I would not feel that cool holding this. I'd feel like a child. So this sword is from Dragon Quest. It's called the Sword of Light. And I, I feel like it lives up to the name really well. Like I get ancient Egypt vibes from this. Anything that has like that distinct style goes a long way. And this kind of nails that like, you know, I feel like Middle Eastern style that I'm seeing here. This is gorgeous. I'm, I think, I think, do I put it in S tier? Mm -hmm. I think it's like between S and A, and I think it has just enough swag, just enough of a bit of like charisma from the area that I'm gonna put it in S. Okay, next we got another Dragon Quest sword. This one from Dragon Quest VIII. It's called the Dragovian King Sword. Oh, I like this. I really like this design. This spiky part in the middle is f***ing badass. I do like when like the blade aspect is more straight than like curvy here, but I feel like it works really well. I feel like a sharper red is better. This kind of has like a gradient where where it's like starts red here and then it like gets white. Like I feel like it looks cool, but like instead of going all out in the coolness, they went like, like they pulled back a punch. You know, they went like 50% coolness. Like this feels like the blueprint to a perfect sword. Not quite there, chief. I think it's a solid A tier. Definitely A tier. Oh baby, now we got the Buster Sword part two. Uh, just kidding, Final Fantasy fans. Do not hurt me. So this one's called the Fusion Sword. I had to Google this. I don't care, I'm gonna admit it. I'm I'm not a freaking nerd. But like, dude, this, this sword is kind of f***ing crazy. So I know we're not talking about lore. This is not technically lore, but this is, this sword is made up of other swords. How fucking cool can you be? A sword made of swords. Like, look at it. Like, like you can you can even see that it's like made like not haphazardly, but like you know, it's just like not completely welded together. Like, it's like made of parts. Like, it's a Lego almost. I really like the risks they took or like rough around the edges and like the middle it has like aspects to it that indicate that it's not perfectly a sword and i just think that's so cool i love it i'm a big fan beats the buster sword for me yeah no i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it bro next we got the falcon here i think i'm saying that right which is crom sword but it's also marth sword but they're also different we'll get to that later okay so this is this is how it looks for crom and it's a, it's a solid sword i think it's like i like this this thingy in the middle I don't know what else much to say about it. B tier. 
Oh, baby. All right, now we got the Minecraft swords. All right, let's do this real quick. Diamond sword, obviously fucking S tier. This is gorgeous. The color is amazing. I love the 2D aspect. This is a good sword. Like, it looks goofy, but like, it's kind of, it's kind of sick. It's kind of sick. I can't lie. It, like, what matters is if I will look cool holding this sword, will I get bitches above the, the Buster sword? Nah, 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 I, I, I'm not even, I'm not crazy. I think it's good here. I think it's good. The golden sword, honestly, this is cool. It kind of sucks, but it's like, I honestly think it might, might be just right next to it. Diamond, gold. Yeah, this is a f***ing badass. Okay, next we got this sword, uh, the iron sword. It's like a sword. <laughs> All right, no, it's like, okay, it's like a regular sword, except it's like, it's made of cubes, you know, which may, which gives us some swag points. I think it's, it's just enough to be an A tier, but nothing crazy. Next, we got stone. I think this is starting to be in C tier, you know, it's not, it, it's, even though it is stone, it looks dull and weak. And we got the wooden sword. Still better than Robin's f***ing bronze sword, but not that good either. Next, we got Meta Knight's Galaxia. Okay, this looks cool in theory. Okay, but the thing is, fellas, a f***ing, like, two-foot-tall creature is holding this. This sword cannot be longer than, like, half my forearm. This is, it's like a little f***ing baby sword. And listen, fellas, I know Meta Knight could look cool holding this. I would look stupid. You would probably look stupid, too, unless you're, like, seven. And in which case, you're probably most mad about this Meta Knight sword being in beat here it's it's it, you can't look that intimidating holding it you just can't next we got the ganon doria sword i call it that because it has no actual name it's just a random sword it's not like a canonical like master sword like link or something no it's a it's a f***ing sword no this looks like a sword like a giant would fight with you know like you lug it around and bah, you know you slice through f***ing 10 heads at the same time it's it, it, it doesn't look like the sharpest work but it's like it's f***ing sick it's brutal and so it gets points from that you know I, i'd look i'd look pretty cool carrying the sword i can't even lie next we got the key blade this doesn't look like a blade to me to me this it's not really a sword this is an oversized key let's be real this does not slice up enemies this opens doors right because look at this this bar already here is dull you know maybe it's like a bat you'll you'll bonk someone with this i do like the mickey chain you know this is a this is a nice touch and sure the way it's held it reminds me of those things that's like those those arms you know you it looks exactly like that i don't know Eddie, you know what i'm talking about it's like it literally looks like that it's an iconic shape I'll give you that, but is it a cool sword? No, I can't. I can't. I can't justify that. I can't justify that. I think it's a pretty sh sword. I would look so stupid holding this in front of like a bunch of soldiers with actual swords. I think this is a D tier sword, and I know uh, people are gonna be upset about this, but come on, let's be real. This is not a threatening sword whatsoever. I'm gonna stick with the D. Next, we got the Kokiri, which is Young Link's sword. And as you can see, it's made for, for babies. Uh, so it's perfect for Young Link and Young Link means I can't put it, I feel like I can't put it higher than D tier. It has a nice design, but it's so small. This is this is meant to like chop carrots, you know? It's not meant to, to, to slay demons. Maybe, maybe above the wooden sword. Oh, baby. All right, now we're fucking talking, bro. Masamune is here, a big boy sword. Literally, it's seven feet tall. Sephiroth is a tall looking man. This like towers over him. It's insane. I feel like, you know, just holding it is already a sign you're about to get f***ed up. This is an S tier sword. No question. I think it's, oh, I, I think it gets more. Sorry, Steve Minecraft. Is it cleaner than the Buster sword though? This is a long sword and stays long the whole time. Buster sword is clean and skinny in the, in the hill and then gets f***ing thick as hell. And I think that's a cooler dynamic than the just clean and thin the whole time. But still, again, top f***ing tier. S tier for sure. Next, we got the Falcon. On. Again, but this time held by Marth. It actually has that uh, hole in the middle that Krom had empty. It's filled with like a jewel or something now. Yeah. It's clean. I think it's not much crazier than Krom's sword. It has these little thingies pointing out. That's really all I can say. It looks like a sword. I think B tier as well for you. Not as good as your the newer version. Okay, because I'm a, I pay attention to detail and I am an awesome content creator. This this Mega Man piece. I don't know. Like okay, his forward air is called Flame Sword, but like the way it works. Yeah, at least in Smash, it like it's like a beam of fire. It's not. not it's not like a physical steel sword. No, it's literally just a fire shaped that resembles a sword. I can't see it long enough for it, me to really rate it. So I don't know. I, maybe, maybe, maybe B tier. Oh, baby, the master sword. Okay. Probably the most iconic sword in gaming history. At least top two. How do I tell them? There's no, there's no pizzazz factor about it. 
See, I mean, it has that cyan color to it that makes it stand out a little more and makes it clean. But if I didn't know this was the most iconic sword in all of history for video games, would I believe it's the best designed and the best looking? I don't know. I mean, listen, let's see. Let's see how it compares. I think it should be an S tier. I don't think it's cleaner than the Fire Emblem sword. The Minecraft swords are really cool. And then these guys are just like maybe in their own league. Honestly? I think I'm onto something. Super sword. These are just on another level, and I don't think I don't think it's on another level. It's great and it's foundational for all other cool swords maybe that came after, but mm, I'm sorry, fellas. I'm sorry. Me fing sword fighter. Little idiot with the little idiot sword. Um, I'm gonna put him in C tier. Maybe I'm a little biased, but that sword also doesn't look very big. It's not impressive. I actually don't want to waste too much time talking about it. Um, there we go. Next we got the Monado. And uh, I'll just I'll just make this very easy and plain and simple. Alright. Let's get that out of the way. Let's make it clear. Like if sword if a sword were sex, this would be the sword. The Okay, first of all, let's talk about the color. This scarlet red is gorgeous. It reminds me of my DS that I got when I was 10 years old. That's sh oh my gosh, but not like one of the coolest colors you could put on anything on a car, on a console, on a sword. And that accomplishes it right there. It's like the futuristic nailed without looking corny. Like it just takes a risk and it, mm, it just does what it needs to do baby it's perfect like this hole too i feel like it's just like it's such a good touch like i know that's the we're supposed to like the the monado art is supposed to go like speed or whatever or, and again we're not talking about lore but like again design wise that's f***ing genius and this isn't the only part the blade is a lightsaber come on man come on why are we still talking about this it deserves the sex tier next we got mithra's sword here okay this one is a very clean sword see mithra's sword is like it's a little bit tackier than shulk right because it's like has a future aspect but you can you can kind of tell it's supposed to be like you know a little quirky i love these edges you know it's very sharp it, it kind of reminds me of like a power ranger sword like the final power ranger you know not like one of the you know not red or whatever like no this belongs to like the giga power ranger okay so i don't know i feel like it's cool enough i could justify it putting it really high it doesn't beat the cleanness of sephiroth sword like it's a little too tacky for it you know this is just the cleanness overpowers the little bit of tackiness we got going on here. So it's gonna say at the bottom of SS tier, but still f***ing baller sword. I can't even lie. Okay, next we got Fire Emblem Corrin Sword, the Omega Yato Sword. It's not only a sword, but it's like a chainsaw too. It's a little bit too cool for Corrin. I don't think Corrin out of all characters should be the one wielding this, but it looks phenomenal. It's actually a little bit too sick. It's a chainsaw sword. How can I not put this in SS tier? That is so f***ing cool. All right, next we got the Levin Sword from Robin. Uh, this one is, you know, okay, I like the idea they were going for, you know? It's electric themed, and get this, the blade is shaped like a lightning bolt. I know, I, they were a little crazy with this one. Uh, I think it's an A tier because again, it is really cool. But I don't, I think it's a little bit too tacky. I think Steve Minecraft still beats it as well. Because again, this is tacky, but clean. This is tacky, but like a little bit too much. Like we get it. It's electricity. <laughs> you know, yeah, I made that obvious. Are you compensating for something? Next we got Lucina Source, the parallel Falcon. This one isn't too different from what we just saw. Yep. Actually, they're, they're, they're kind of identical. Alrighty. All right. Next we got Pyrosword, the Aegis Sword. It's all right. It's all right, not as clean as Mithra's or Shulk's. It's cool. It's very red. You know, I like, uh, you're seeing a pattern here. I, like, I do like the color red. But at the same time, it's just like, it's too much. It takes what Mithra's had, like that quirky futuristic effect, and it does too much with it. I know you were anime, but like, this makes it too obvious. I, I, maybe I'll put, a, I'll put it higher than the Levin Sword, but still. It's not stupid looking, but it's, it's too much. It's too much. Next, we got Ragnar. I feel like, I, I, I can't even pronounce it like that. I have to pronounce it like, Ragnall. A very ugly name. I don't like it. But in terms of looks, holy shit, that fucking hilt is one of the cleanest. I never realized it was so fucking clean. This one, honestly, for me, at least S tier, maybe even SS tier, if it were just a regular blade. But it has this thing here, this dingling. I hate that. Why did they do this? It would look so editor. Can, can, can you do like Photoshop magic and just make it like 
like how it would look as a regular sword. Tell me that's not way cooler. You know, it's too silly. It's I'm gonna put it in low B tier. I don't think you can get much higher than that, no. Ooh, next we got another hero sword. This one called the Supreme Sword. This one is like the pre-evolution of the Sword of Light we saw before. I think they're actually like the same thing. Kind of like same deal as like Marth Sword being passed down to Krom. Which I honestly, I think it still remains in S tier? I don't know. I mean, it loses a lot of the swag that the original sword has. S tier. I'm gonna leave it in S tier. So next we got Sword of the Creator with Byleth. This sword is kind of f***ing clean. It's not steel. This is actually made of bones. Okay. Uh, lore, I know lore, we're not gonna take it into account, but okay, it's like already you can tell it's not, it's like more rock based than it is steel based. And so the fact it's made of like bones is kind of cool as hell. This is a cool ass sword. And, and to make it even f***ing cooler, like it, 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 it has like a whip too. You've seen Byleth Uppy, Byleth Jab, that has the range. And so it's just like the fact you can do that with it. Functionality plus a sick design. Definitely super sword. Definitely beats Mithra. Does it beat does it beat this guy though? Yes, it does. It does. It does. Sword of the Creator is it's it's kind of fing sick. Not that sick. Not that. I'm lying. I'm lying. So uh, just kidding. I got you guys. Uh, Matsumune is like the gatekeeper for like the top Giga Chad t swords. And so we're, we're not just quite there yet. All right. Next, we got the Ultra Sword with Kirby. This is in his like his final smash. It's really f***ing big. That already gives a bonus points. It looks like a rocket ship. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because it does give that. It does have that cartoony vibe, Um, but I think it's cool. I think it, and in fact, it's f***ing massive gives it points too. I think it's I think it's bottom of S here. Bottom of sword here. I think it belongs. There. It's cool. It's big enough that it kind of carries. Oh, now we got another master sword. This one being Toon Links. I think it's clean. I think it's nifty, but I don't think it goes higher than the bottom of eight. Uh, over here, over here. It beats attacky swords, but it's still not crazy enough that I feel like it deserves S. And lastly, we got the Zenithian sword, another Dragon Quest sword, living up to its name it got a dragon in the hill what the hell they didn't have to do that no I, these quirky designs or these like themes they have in swords th that sells me bro that makes it way better i think this is a little little corny like the two blade thingies like that pop out at the top of the sword eh. uh but i think it, it does give it a little more pizzazz. <gasps> that's a dragon that's a dragon shaped thing on the it does change my mind a little bit, but it does, it does. Let's put it, I, I put it in bottom of super short. It's not quite chainsaw, Yato sword, badass, but it's, it's pretty good. And that's it, baby. That's every sword in Smash ranked from sex to D tier. I may have hurt a lot of people along the way, so be it. Tam, I'm sorry if I hurt you. Also, so be it. Thanks for watching, fellas. If you want to see more tier lists of stuff that you didn't really care about or ask for, let me know and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. See ya.